Hi, I'm Tammy Markham. I've been with St. Stephen for seven years, and I also uh, handle the Altar Guild, and I'm looking forward to sharing this uh, devotion with you today. So, grace upon grace, for from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. This is John 1, verse 16. When I was in high school, once a year for two weeks, I dedicated every ounce of my strength to one goal, making the basketball team. Then the day came when the coach posted the list of who made the team. The process left me with the understanding that to get anything in life, I would have to sacrifice, sweat, and give it all I have, and then some. We, all, we are all pros at performance. God is a pro at grace. From God's fullness, he gives us unworthy sinners. Not just grace, grace upon grace. There are other options than grace. We might try salvation by sincerity. It doesn't matter what you believe, just as long as you're sincere. Yet we've all been sincerely wrong about a lot of things. Then there's salvation by subtract, subtraction. If being saved wasn't doing anything, then everyone in nursing homes would be saved. You don't do a lot in those places. Or how about salvation by service? Do good. Be nice. Help people. None of this works. We will never generate enough sincerity, subtraction, or service. Remember the little engine that could? I think I can. I think I can. Grace isn't for that little engine that could. Grace is for the little engine that couldn't. Grace is for that little engine that turned out to be a massive train wreck. God's magnificent grace in Christ's cleansing blood is his gift to you. Let us pray. Jesus, your amazing grace is a sweet sound. It saved a wretch like me. Amen. We continue with Martin Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen.